back to another hacking tutorial from Stealth Data Zero. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add encryption and encoding to MSF Venom payloads. We're also going to be using HTTPS. Um, I want to start getting you guys uh, more focused on HTTPS instead of reverse TCP because HTTPS means your cell traffic is encrypted, which means it will be less detectable by antivirus and it will be less detectable by eavesdroppers such as system admins, maybe someone sniffing your traffic um, or someone trying to trace you back or any uh, scenario like that. You want your traffic to be encrypted by the HTTPS protocol. Um, also, the encryption will help uh, make it harder to um, reverse engineer the payload as well. Um, now, th being MSF Venom, um, these payloads are highly used, but there is ways you can tweak them to make them more undetectable. Um, this is about as undetectable as they're going to get. I mean, you can do more things like customize the shell code, move bad characters and stuff like that. And we will get into that in the future. And I want to get into coding shell code as well. Um, but right now, um, these uh, will be the best MSF Venom payloads um, that you can probably make uh, really quickly on the fly. Now, encryption is different than encoding. Um, and you can mix and match. So you can do MSF Venom tac tac list encoders and it will list all the encoders And then if we go to my cheat sheet, I list all of the types of encryption here. So you have AES 264-bit, uh, Base64, the RC4 encoding, and the OXR encoding. Um, of course, it's always going to be the same. You know, your L host is your internal IP address. Use port 443, um, even if you're using the TCP um, payload, um, it's best to use that so you can bypass firewalls um, and get out of the network. Um, uh, we're going to be changing this to HTTPS. And uh, we're using the Windows payload. Now remember, you can use other types of payloads as well. But um, for maximum undetectability, you want to use HTTPS or um, RC4 but you want your shell traffic to be encrypted and then you want to use a proxy or VPN to anonymize yourself that way um, it's a lot harder to trace your true location so right here's all the different encoders you can use. You see that we're going to be using Shikata Ganai, which is rated excellent. Um, but there's other good ones here like OXR. Um, Base64. The blocks are is pretty good. We're going to go ahead and make our payload. You can type ifconfig to find your internal IP address. And you can simply Google um, what's your public IP address and port forward port 443 to do this remotely. Um, or you could use ngrock and use the host tunnels IP address. You can also use ServoNet on um, Metasploit payloads. Um, and we'll be encrypting this 15 times with the Shikata Ganai encryption. Um, you can also add a key to your um, encryption if you hit uh, tac tac key and then the key's name that you'd wanted. Um, this would be the correct syntax for that. Again, using your payload. So we're going to make the payload um, encoded with uh, the Base64 uh, or encoded with the Shikata Ganai encoding. 
and then encrypt it with the Base64 encryption or the um, AES 256-bit uh, encryption. So you can see our payload saved in the root folder. We're going to go ahead and move that to the Apache folder. which is under computer, other location, computer, bar, www, html. Service Apache 2, start to start the Apache server. Now if you port forward port 80, um, you can reach your Apache server via the internet um, using your public IP address. If not, um, over the LAN, you can just type this in a browser and you'll get your Apache server and then you can download the payload and then again um, think about social engineering like making websites and stuff like that which I have an HTML page which I can simply download I can change the code to download any of these payloads too and I have videos on that and you can you guys can check that out on the channel okay so now we encoded our payload and I'm just trying to get you guys more familiar with MSF Venom and there's a lot more you can do. You can bind a payload, um, you can create a raw file payload that's encrypted and encoded and then bind it to a real working EXE payload that's also encrypted for uh, more layers of encryption. Um, but this is an encrypted and encoded payload. Remember there are two different things. Um, if we go ahead and open this up with a uh, text editor I might not I won't let us do that all right we're gonna go ahead and um, get the target system and type in 192.168.1.218 our internal IP address and we're going to download the encoded encrypted.exe we're going to save that file and we're going to run that exe file. Uh, I skipped an important step. You always want to start your multi handler first before you send out your payload because you do not want to miss the opportunity of catching the signal um, if your payload is ran. So use multi slash handler. Um, set your payload as windows slash interpreter slash reverse HTTPS you can also um, set an unstated uh, encoder which will increase your chances of bypassing antivirus so we'll go ahead and do that and set Shikata Ganai as our um, encoding for the staged encoder and we'll put 10 layers of, a, of encoding on that. And you don't have to put those options, those, la those three options there, this one, um, this one, and the encoding true. You just need the payload and then the L host. So set L host is always your internal IP address, the number we found with ifconfig. And then L port's always the port you used when making the payload. Then hit exploit. And that will start your multi handler. And you can see it started a reverse HTTPS multi handler. We're going to run the HTTPS payload. And now you can see we have an HTTPS encrypted shell. So if I was using a proxy, um, something like NAPE or a VPN, which I show you guys how to use or proxy change, um, this would help keep yourself anonymized and also make your chances of um, evade, uh, evading antivirus more effective because the antivirus can't read the, the malicious traffic coming from the payload. Um, so when trying to avoid antivirus, always use HTTP as payloads for max results. So we're going to go ahead and enter uh, sys info. And then we're going to go ahead and drop it to a shell. 
and we're going to do a net stat attack A and we should be able to see our connection here 1 9 Uh, it's still loading. Okay, not sure why that didn't show up, but we can uh, drop out of the shell. And then we can do the help list, which gives us a list of commands. And if you check out my Windows post exploitation video, I go over all the commands and the um, interpreter guide. Um, you can do screenshot or uh, run. We'll do run VNC. But you basically have full administrative control over the computer and uh, you can do anything you like. And as you can see, we can see the screen in real time. I'm moving the mouse around. see the Apache server and that's it so that's how you use encrypted um, and encoded payloads with HTTPS um, HTTPS is important especially when trying to avoid antivirus and avoid a detection um, because system admins watch traffic um, and uh, HTTPS will blend in on um, port 443. Um, it will also help you bypass firewalls and remain undetected. Um, the encoding and encryption will help um, avoid uh, social engineering and um, AV. Um, and you can mix it and match it and see what works best for you. But again, being MSF Venom, um, these payloads are highly used and um, very easily detected in most cases. Um, but hopefully you found the video informative. If you did, go ahead and drop a like, subscribe for more content, and as always, have fun, stay safe, keep hacking, peace out.